Welcome to Geek Archaeology, where we dig deep into anime from all eras. And today I want to talk about harem anime. That's right, the classic story of an ordinary high school boy who somehow manages to attract the adoration of half a dozen cute girls. Just like real life. And yes, there are shows about girls surrounded by cute boys, but that's a whole other topic. While this is a very popular concept for anime these days, the genre has actually been around a while. All the anime series and franchises I'm going to talk about date back to the 90s and early 2000s when Harem was still finding its feet. For this list, I'm choosing anime that I've personally seen, and more importantly, that I think have some twist or element that make them interesting or otherwise remarkable. In other words, it's, just not, it's not just any anime that has Harem in it. Let's get started, and we'll begin, appropriately enough at the beginning, with Tenchi Moyo in 1992. This is widely considered to be the first harem series, and you can see why. Ordinary high school boy Tenchi Masaki, apparently ordinary high school boy Tenchi Masaki, accidentally unleashes a demon who just happens to be a space pirate, who just happens to look like a beautiful girl, which then attracts the attention of other beautiful girls from space, all of whom end up living in Tenchi's house, just like real life. Now, one of the things that makes Tenchi Moyo interesting beyond literally creating the genre is how wild its universe is. I like to call it science fantasy, meaning it has elements of both science fiction, like spaceships and space travel, and fantasy, though in this case the fantasy appears to be just sufficiently advanced technology. Still, it looks cool. It's also interesting for Tenchi's role and relationship with the girls in the franchise. He is an actual person of interest for various villains in the franchise and often has to actively fight them off. In other words, he's not just some random boy, he actually has something to do in the plot. Now, this varies depending on um, which Tenchi series you're, you're watching. It's a big franchise, but it's still really refreshing. Now let's move on to another harem series from the same studio, El Hazard, from a few years later in 1995. El Hazard is actually an early isekai series, though in this case, the hero Makoto and several of his acquaintances are all thrust into a world visually inspired by Middle Eastern cultures. Now, fortunately, it doesn't claim to be exactly faithful to any one culture, instead just using that, those as broad visual inspiration to look a little different. And if Tenchi has a lot to do, so does poor Makoto. El Hazard probably has the most plot of all the harem series we're going to talk about here, partly because the first OVA actually tells a complete story. There were several more OVAs and a TV series, but even in OVA 1, Makoto is at the center of a big plot that really keeps him on his toes, while also keeping his birth sex a secret, but that's a whole other thing. El Hazard's a big fun ride with a surprisingly dramatic ending, so let's move on to a show that's a lot more goofy, Handmade May from the year 2000. Now, I'm including this series because it has a special place in my heart. It's a lighthearted harem series about a teenage boy who one day takes delivery of a doll-sized android maid girl, then eventually ends up with a bunch of android maids living with him. Just like real life. In Handmaid May, you get most of the archetypes. The bumbling one, the smart one, the milf, the lowly. And if it were just that, the show would be pretty forgettable. But Handmaid May is actually pretty genre-aware. It has a lot of little parodies of other anime series, from revolutionary girl Utena to, well, I swear there's a Serial Experiments Lane parody in there. Speaking of consequences, let's move on to another series that seems light until you actually get into it. 2002's Please Teacher. Why is it called Please Teacher? Because the main character marries his teacher in episode one. And of course, there are extenuating circumstances. She's an alien, which makes it okay? Now, this fact actually makes Please Teacher one of the least harem of all the series in this list, if you will, since the protagonist is clearly focused on his relationship with his teacher. Other characters in the show pair off in various ways, too. So, it's a harem in the sense that he's surrounded by cute girls, but there are more exclusive relationships in this series. And that actually ties into one of this show's central themes. 
the main character has felt like his life's been at a standstill up until the beginning of the, the series. The wacky hijinks force him to move forward with his life. And the show is actually about making progress in your life, in contrast with a lot of other Harem and Moe series, which are more about fulfilling a fantasy and then kind of not really going anywhere with it. Indeed, two of the other characters um, have to deal with the important consequence of certain time they've spent together very closely, which is something you almost never see in anime, period. The show is really about progress. Oh, and by the way, if the show looks vaguely familiar, the more recent series, Anonatsu Dimiteru, or Waiting in Summer, was made by both by most of the same staff and has very similar characters, so you'll see some similarities there. Okay, let's move on to the final show in this list, which actually ties back to the first show on this list, the criminally under-remembered Dual Parallel Trouble Adventure from 1999. This show is actually a parody of the hugely popular mecha series Neon Genesis Evangelion, but set within the Tenchi Moyo universe. Yeah, now none of the Tenchi characters actually show up in Duel, but it does collect, uh, connect to later Tenchi series. Duel tells the story of a seemingly normal high school boy who seems to be hallucinating mecha battles in his hometown. Turns out those battles are actually happening in an alternate dimension that's overlapping with his own, and of course, in due course, he ends up in that dimension piloting a fearsome mecha with girls who are clearly not Asuka Langley Soryu or Rei Ayanami. Clearly. But it's not just an Eva parody. This dimension has its own problems and storyline where Kazuki, the teenage boy, needs to deal with the girls there in his own way. I won't spoil the surprises. Suffice to say that it uses Eva as a jumping off point, as a basic setting setup to tell its own story, which I found quite satisfying. So there you have it, five older harem series with their own twists and surprises. Again, there are other harem series worth talking about, I just probably haven't seen them yet. There's so much anime to watch. Is there a harem series you'd recommend? Please leave a comment below with your recommendation. And uh, if you consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.